Hello, I'm Aaron Pabone, and welcome to Last Week in Gaming, the show that gives you a summary of last week's gaming news. This episode is for the week of February 7th through February 13th, 2016. Remember, if you have any news tips from the world of gaming, you can send them to us using this hashtag, LWIGJN, or send us a message to GameJournalsNetwork at gmail.com. First, Ubisoft announced on their blog that they are stepping back and re-examining the Assassin's Creed franchise. On the February 11th post, the company stated that there will not be a new Assassin's Creed game in 2016, citing feedback that they've received from 2015's Assassin's Creed Unity. Japan's record on women's rights will be under examination by the UN Committee on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women, or the CEDAW. This comes after Japan ratified the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, a move to promote better treatment towards women in Japan in both the workplace and in entertainment. The review will take place in Geneva and will be broadcast live on the Treaty Body webcast site on February 16th. A slew of discussions will happen between the CEDAW and a delegate from the Japanese government. One possible conversation will be the possibility of banning the sale of video games or anime or cartoons involving sexual violence against women. This has many lead to the speculation that this discussion could lead to a change to the development or outright ban of hentai or eroge games. A link to the discussion will be in the description box below. Mad Cats announced in a press release that the President and CEO, Darren Richardson, Senior Vice President of Business Affairs, Whitney Peterson, and Chairman Thomas Brown have resigned from Mad Cats. The announcement came just before the company issued its latest financial earnings report. Richardson was the company's President and CEO since 2004. Karen McGinnis will be replacing Richardson. McGinnis was the company's chief financial officer. Mad Cats is known for producing and manufacturing third-party peripherals and devices, and was the co-publisher of Rock Band 4. Mad Cats did release its third quarter financial results. The company had its second highest quarterly sales to date. However, it had a 10% decrease in its net income to $1.2 million and had losses equal to $4.4 million. This is prompting Mad Cats to lay off 37% of its staff. Chelsea Van Valkenburg, a.k.a. Zoe Quinn, has announced on her personal blog that she would end her legal claim against Aaron Gironi. Quinn stated on her blog that the stress of the case was taking a toll on her and harassment was becoming more frequent. At the start of the 2015 legal proceedings, Gironi was given a gag order not to post anything about Quinn online or to encourage hate mobs. This has had many online argue that Gironi was having his First Amendment rights infringed on. Gironi is known for posting the Zoe posts, which... He explains his relationship with Zoe Quinn, and is considered by many the catalyst of the Gamergate movement. In our last bit of news, on February 8th, the video game site Game Trailers said its goodbye after 13 years of online gaming media coverage and hosting and debuting video game trailers for upcoming games. The announcement came on Game Trailers' social media accounts. Game Trailers, which was founded in 2002, was considered to be the forerunner of online visual games media, predating YouTube. Twitch, and the concept of the Let's Play format. In 2014, Game Trailers was purchased by Divide Media from Viacom. The deal led to a slew of layoffs after E3 2014. That was last week. I'm Aaron Pabone. Check back next week for more gaming news, and be sure to like this video and subscribe to GGN's YouTube channel. Remember, if you have any news tips from the world of gaming, you can send them to us using this hashtag, LWIGJN, or send us a message to GameJournalismNetwork at gmail.com. Also, check out GGN's official website at GameJournalism.net for more gaming news and AirPlay 2 updates.